I said, you see, well, I'm weak, kind of, well, no one can attack me, right? Yeah. I'm even like, that's the. Hey, guys, trust me, yes. Our it's a one thing is not gonna be like them, okay? So, We're not gonna fight. So, I'm like, I'm so, 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 Okay, you keep it, you keep it. So, you keep the green paper. Keep the green paper. Damn, bro, who's my that's fine. You want me to tape it? You want me to tape it? Oh, it's good, it's going. Thank you. Just don't touch. Don't, yeah, don't touch. Are you sure you need? No, Mexico. Mexico. We are one of the most. It's a tiny guy. It's a ball. You should move it here. Ah, it's early, Debbie. Hey, who took my phone? Hey. There you go. What is this? You can get to it. You can't. Yeah. You, you That's a good idea. Let's yeah. try that. Mm -hmm. Alright. Almost try. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's a good idea. Let's try that. You need to clean it first. Be a role model to others. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing I'm seeing. Cool. It's cool, yeah? Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh wow, you look awesome. Oh, oh yeah, you look cool. Okay. Oh, oh, it's okay. Okay, it's hard to see. But move, move a little bit this way. Mm. This way. This way is easy. I can see Ryan. No, that's good. It's okay. We can't see everyone. It's okay. Oh, maybe we can do it like this way. Oh, this is what I'm saying. You're gonna. Like sideways? Can we do. This is what I'm saying, sideway. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> Um, take it, take it off and leave it, leave it like, you know what I'm saying? Move the, take it out of the phone out, outside. That's good, right there. Perfect. Oh, you That's and then someone help me to do like the job for me. I did a good job. When someone help me get the job and like show who is talking, all you have to do is like this. Yeah, I'm going to do it like this. Just like move it like this. Um, and then just write down the names. I'm sure I'm just gonna write the girl and the boys. Yeah, I'm sure I'm just gonna write Okay, then. No, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which one is your favorite? I don't know, you should give me it. I'm putting these ideas because I don't use the big data. Okay, I don't think. Our nose is getting so nice. I like that. Oh, this. First of all, how dare you do USA? Oh yeah, Jeremy. Jeremy. Are you in the uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Toby's class? Uh, or no? How dare you? Yeah, you guys are here? Okay, awesome. Come hey, How are you? How dare you? Yes. Come sit. <laughs> Alright, welcome. Welcome. We can have chairs here. Some more chairs on the back. Thank you. 
China, and that's the countries we have today to talk about this problem. First, we're going to learn more about the problem. We'll watch a short video, three minutes video, about the problem of global warming. The same information is on your paper. So, ninth and tenth graders, Mr. Toby's class, if you look on this side of the paper, look on this side of the paper. This information, so I have some important words here and some translation in Spanish and also some space to put in your language. These are some important words we're talking about today. Global warming, the planet getting hotter. Greenhouse is a glass house for growing plants. Consume is to use or to eat. Climate is like the environment, especially the temperature. Industry is like factories and businesses that make things. Developing is growing, getting stronger, but not yet strong. Fossil fuel is oil, coal, gas. We burn it for energy. Flood is like lots of water destroying things. Hurricane is a powerful storm that destroys things with wind and water. Drought is no rain for a long time. And um, extinction, one kind of plant or animal disappears from Earth forever, from the planet forever. And last one, emission, is a thing that's sent out or released, usually a gas. Okay, we're gonna watch a short video. At the end of the video, you will answer some questions. There's five questions here, all about the video. These words are the same words in the video. So, we'll watch the video, and then the 11th graders will help you to answer the questions. Then we will start the conversation. So, let's start with the video first. We're gonna start with the video first. So, here we go. Um, let's see. We can turn off the lights. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Good. For 2.5 million years. So remember, it's the same words here. If you can't hear the words, you can't understand. It's the same words here. For 2.5 million years. Here we go. The Earth's climate has fluctuated, cycling from ice ages to warmer periods. But in the last century, the planet's temperature has risen unusually fast, about 1.2 to 1.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Scientists believe it's human activity that's driving the temperatures up, a process known as global warming. Ever since the Industrial Revolution began, factories, power plants, and eventually cars have burned fossil fuels such as oil and coal releasing huge amounts of carbon dioxide and other gases into the atmosphere. These greenhouse gases trap heat near the Earth through a naturally occurring process called the greenhouse effect. The greenhouse effect begins with the sun and the energy it radiates to the Earth. The Earth and the atmosphere absorb some of this energy, while the rest is radiated back into space. Naturally occurring gases in the atmosphere trap some of this energy and reflect it back, warming the Earth. Scientists now believe that the greenhouse effect is being intensified by the extra greenhouse gases that humans have released. Evidence for global warming includes a recent string of very warm years. 
Scientists report that 1998 was the warmest year in measured history, with 2005 coming in second. Meanwhile, readings taken from ice cores show that the greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide, and methane have hit their highest levels in the past 420,000 years. Arctic sea ice is also shrinking. According to NASA studies, the extent of Arctic sea ice has declined about 10% in the last 30 years. As long as industrialized nations consume energy and developing countries increase their fossil fuel consumption, the concentration of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere will continue to rise. Researchers predict that temperatures will increase about 2 to 10 degrees Fahrenheit by the end of the century. What's less certain is what rising temperatures mean for the planet. Some climate models predict subtle changes. Others forecast rising sea levels which could flood coastal areas around the world. Weather patterns could change, making hurricanes more frequent. Severe droughts could become more common in warm areas, and species unable to adapt to the changing conditions would face extinction. Although much remains to be learned about global warming, many organizations advocate cutting greenhouse gas emissions to reduce the impact of global warming. Consumers can help by saving energy around the house, switching to compact fluorescent light bulbs, and driving fewer miles in the car each week. These simple changes may help keep the earth cooler in the future. Okay. So if you can turn on the lights again, please. Ninth and 10th graders, we have some questions to answer. So the same words in the video are here. So all of the answers are here, but also the 11th graders are here to help you. So we have five questions to answer, five questions to answer. So 11th graders, can you turn around and find someone, especially someone who speaks the same language as you, to explain what is the problem and try to help them answer the question. Okay, we have five minutes. Five minutes to try to answer five questions. Joshua, can you come in just for a few minutes to help them? So we have five questions. Can you guys answer? Can you come over and help to answer the question? Yeah, okay. Can you help to help with the princess? Talk to the princess. Do you have an extinction of the species? We yeah, have more pain, you know, the more pain. Uh, 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 Global warming 
And now we produce the dobo. When
So these are two different words that mean like the same thing. Climate change, global warming, we're talking about the same thing. So how can we solve the problem? What are the solutions? So the different countries need to talk, but every country needs something different. Every country has something different. So you can see on the walls, the posters tell you some information about the different countries and what they need and what they have. So we are looking to hear the 11th graders using some of these academic language, right? We want to see them, and the, the grades that they are getting are grades for this. Do they provide strong evidence for their ideas? So it's good to share your ideas, but also show some evidence for your idea. Do they paraphrase or summarize other people's ideas? Do they say it in their own words? Do they ask for other people's ideas? Solicit a response is like ask for someone's idea. Do they ask questions to clarify, to understand more? Do they acknowledge or affirm other ideas? Do they acknowledge, do they say, I like your idea, I hear your idea, I understand your idea? Do, you ask, do they ask probing questions, like they want to learn more? They want to know more about something, they ask probing questions. Do they provide evidence for disagreeing? Those are the things that we're looking for in the group. On the outside circle, 11th graders, you have a green paper. Everyone has a green paper. Everyone has a job to do in the outside circle. So some people on the outside circle are writing down how many times different people talk. Some people are adding their ideas on their paper. Some people are thinking about the process. What is good, what is not good. So we'll ask some people in the 11th grade outside circle to report in 20 minutes. We'll ask them, what is going on? 15 minutes, we'll ask, what is your idea? How is the conversation going? How can they improve? Okay, so make sure your phones are away, you're being really professional, respectful. The outside group, we all have to be very quiet to listen. Inside group, we have to be very professional and show how well we can have an academic conversation. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, okay, let's go. Oh sorry, oh, wait, oh, sorry, one thing, one thing that's very important I forgot to explain is um, uh, Romy is going to help us to, with uh, who is talking, he's going to help to put like this thing, actually let's use this thing, it's not quieter, yeah we're just going to put this next to who is talking. Um, we're going to write down on this, on the other side, like the back of the paper, the back of your paper looks like this. And we're going to write down the names of the students and how many times they talk. One thing we want to see is all of the people talking. Right? We want to see some people who talk a lot to talk less. We want some people who don't talk enough to talk more. So we'll write down all the names of the people here. And we'll write down how many times they talk. So maybe we'll write down Elvis. And when Elvis is talking, They'll just write like one right here. When he talks again, they'll write another. When he talks again, we'll write another. Just to write down how many times different students talk. Okay. So, I think that's the last thing. Any questions? Okay. Let's begin. Okay. So the question is, how can all the countries work together to solve the climate change? And what does Mexico is doing to, according to Wikipedia, uh, Mexico is, uh, is producing a lot of solar panels. It's creating a lot of solar panels to, to reduce the CO2 in the world, even if it doesn't create too much because Mexico produces just 1.3% of carbon dioxide in the world, and per capita is 3.8. So compared to other countries, it's not that much. And a way we can help other countries is that when we stop building solar panels, we can start donating money, like to Nepal right now, they're hit by the earthquake, and you know, so they can build their own. I said, when we stop building our solar panels, we will start donating money to countries so they can build their own. Did you understand? Similar to Joshua, uh, my idea is uh, similar to like 
our uh, country, it's seventy percent like they use in public transit, and like seventy uh, percent they are walking, and like only forty uh, less than forty seven use cars. So before the main uh, energy for Germany was coal, and now it's uh, after two thousand twelve, according to Sweden's.com, Germany is using renewable energy like such as uh, nuclear and solar. Um, I agree with the idea of promoting the use of solar energy. I mean, it, it could be benefit, beneficial for all the countries. Because um, based on the website of Benefit of the Net, um, using uh, solar energy would be beneficial for the environment because the sun is uh, unlimited. We can use that for a long time. And it's very cheap. And even develop, developing countries can use it. But who should use it? Like, how about the country that is not uh, sun or planet? <laughs> I mean, countries like USA are starting to build already. And especially for residential, because most of us use uh, energy for residential like appliances. And close, uh, countries that are closest to the equator can you know, use it. What solution do you have for the other countries that they're not really close to the uh, equator? Um, the, uh, the building of the technology called the carbon capture. Um, right now, China has has the amount of 24.65% of uh, emissions, of CO2 emission in the world. And you know, all of our all of our things are made from China. I mean, they're all out of factories in other countries. And we you know that carbon capture can capture 90% uh, of the uh, CO2 from the factories. And that could be a potential solution for it. Yeah, that's my idea too, too. For because in uh, China that if we stop to uh, if we stop like uh, trying to reduce the CO two by closing the factories, like we'll have less uh, resources for ourselves. But like Rick said, if we start to use like uh, carbon storage, then that could be a good idea. We still have resources for ourselves, and there will be less CO two. Yeah. I'm just wondering your ideas because China is China. It has more factory is true, but that factor is uh, is the company is from an other country like uh, USA. They are com they are company in USA, but they are build a factory in China. So I I think it's the <laughs> yeah the best solution is if USA <coughs> in other country they shouldn't build a factory in China so. So you're saying is, like the country should build their own factories in their country? Yeah. Well, but we're not gonna be yeah. You're the one that is allowing the countries to build in yours. So if you're allowing them, you can't blame them. Right. So. Yeah, but 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 China has uh produced a lot of CO2 emissions because. Uh, because you are alone in it. Also, it's one of the main CO2 producers because we know that China has a lot of population. Yeah. So that's one of the reasons. Those people use a lot of transportation. That people work in factories. So that's what is creating the CO2 in your country. So if we stop uh, building your factories in, in the country you are allowing us to do, that will reduce a little. Also, you could do CO2 uh, carbon storage, so you, you, you don't uh, complain a lot about the countries. Um, I really like Amir's and Joshua's idea, like the solutions between carbon captures and storage, because according to CCSassociation.com, um, CCS can capture almost like 90% of CO2, and that is a lot, and that's really helpful for the global warming. So. I, think, I think that countries like China and US or countries have a lot of factories, they should 
And it won't be a bad uh, uh, solution for your country because the more factories, you, uh, the more factories you build, the more money you get from other countries. Uh, countries you know, and and as for now, your economy is really rich, so um, it's not going to be a problem for you. No, uh, the economy is not very rich because the the, the we have a bigger population and and. And the salary is not very high. Yeah, yeah. Like, she's saying that like the, the economy of China is not very really rich. Like yeah. they are now focusing on giving benefits to um, to to the populace, to the people, because they have a large population. So like the cost might be much bigger than like than the other countries. Like uh, so, I don't think the economy is is rich. Also, China we have. China has a solution is uh, is the one child to me. So we yeah. So we have to uh, we can control the population and reduce the. So if you have one family, you can only have one child. Yeah. You can child. Yeah, we can control the population and control the to uh, reduce the. Disagree with her, with uh, Madeline, I mean Marilyn, because she said she used a lot of uh, solar power. But they don't really uh, use solar power in, in the United Arab Emirates. They have, so their country is based on oil. So their country is really rich because uh, they are oil uh, country, and they uh, they sell con uh, oils to other countries too. So what they could do is if. So I'll say that like, if they stop using oil, their economy will be destroyed because they make money by oil. So what they can do is, like I mentioned earlier, they can still use oil, but they can use carbon uh, storage. So that way, their economy will be destroyed. I agree with you. Uh, coming with a solution um, before this, uh, about solar panels, how can we get like clean energy for all the world? Uh, according to ifreakinglovescience.com, we need we just need five uh, five hundred square kilometers of solar panels in Africa to produce uh, clean energy for all the world, and for Mexico it will be like twenty five kilometers in the desert. So if all countries donate to start building solar panels in Africa, uh, yeah, just that amount, so it can cruise to all the world, I think that would be a great idea to uh, change should we donate? Well, it, it like, depends on uh, how much CO2 your country producing, I think. Because we just need five, 500 square kilometers Africa, solar panel, we could, you know, give a, each country a part, so they build it, you know, start doing that. Yeah, so panel is renewable and basically, we will never run out of that. Yeah, so what he's saying is like, what he mentioned is like, it's, we should use it because we can, it's renewable, like, we can use it as much as we want, and that's a benefit of using solar. Like, I mean, not only solar, like, you can also use the other renewable 
um, sauce like wing, hydro, um, geothermal, or the others. Like, like my country is today, what we're doing is, is now like according to the renewable, I mean renewaleconomy.com, Iceland today just have a perfect um, electronic generating system because they generate electronic by 100% uh, renewable, like 75% from geo, I mean from hydropower and 25% from uh, geothermal power. Similar to your idea, like uh, according to Wikipedia, renewable energy in Germany, we have a lot of rivers in our country, so we plant uh, hydropower and Germany, uh, like 25% uh, uh, energy comes from from, uh, from the hydropower. And also wind power, since there's a cross line by uh, Germany. Uh, in the USA, would you consider to donate some money to countries like The second place and main producers of CO2, I think uh, you say should be the one that's donating more money to the country. Uh, yeah. we, all need country. To, we need to have money for all country also. Yes, that's why I'm saying all country because if all countries donate, we would not have to donate a lot of money. So you guys get it, right? If we donate money, we would not have to donate. You know, do the do a lot. Of and that will help change. Let's hear from different people this time. Young men, do you have any solution? What you can say about this? Yes, um, we have already much money I mean I know we use it for construction and other stuff but we could take a little money from USA and then donate it to people along um, so um, so my population is remember, uh, 37 point million not uh, 37 million okay they're, they're living they live from um, the urban and rural areas so I admit that I use biomass because in some rural areas they use uh, uh, wood, you know, to use for their daily needs, to cook their food, use lights, and and cities they already have solar energy for them. But rural people don't go there. Rural people. So I'm asking for China and USA to to give some of their money for the rural areas because it's not it's not that a lot because our population is very low, you know, and we, and we would it would decrease the level of the 
Okay, well, so I agree that we should help you. That when we help you, what can you give us back? No, like, oh, we all helping you. That what can you give us back? So right now we're thinking to, you know, we're not sure yet what to get because right now we're suffering from earthquake, which is the money from the government we're handing it for the people that are affected. So we're still thinking about that. Just the people? Oh, yeah, it's very important to see. Yes, let's be less selfish and according to Wikipedia and the apologies per capita, 0 0.14. And, and the whole world just contributes to 0 0.01 CO2 produced. So I think helping them will be good because it's a poor country and thinking about us that we are uh, developed countries or almost developed countries, it will it will be you know we will not have to donate even an, even a lot because it's also Nepal is small and also Australia we kind of heard from you because you're a developed country and you, you produce a lot of CO two and we have to change that yeah we change the uh, use the um, lower coal energy yeah. we uh, use the produce a lot of the Greenhouse gas. What's your main source of energy? Uh, is it is it from fossil fuel or your main source? Yeah, fossil fuel. Well, I need to be cheaper. Yeah. So, what you say is production is about like needing to like, use less fossil fuel. Yeah. Can you do that? Yeah. You can also. You can also create wind power, so you know how Australia is tied to the coastline? You can also create wind power, and then that would be the energy. Yes, you can also use nuclear energy, because Australia has a stable government, and I think nuclear energy will provide a lot of energy. Okay. So, you know, in Australia, your per capita is producing 16.9, carbon dioxide, which is close to, to USA, which is 17.1. So you guys should change that. Even if like uh, in all country, you guys produce the CO2, you guys are producing 1.11. So you guys as a wealthy country, should change that to uh, nuclear energy, do that you have a stable government, as Jen said. Can I stop for one minute? Sorry to interrupt you. I wanna hear what the outside circle thinks about how is it going? How is the conversation going? So let's see, can we hear um, from um, about the process first? We can hear from Kelly, the process checker. What do you think about the process? It's super well from the first time. They say that because they uh, respond to the all questions and evidence, and also submit such information from the website. And also we're trying to like, um, trying to help the poor, the, the, the poor people for the situation, like from the developed country like US and China. But I think I need to hear from her more. So we need to hear a little bit more from some others. And um, can we hear from one of our reporters, Romy, um, like some, what are some of the main ideas that they are talking about? Too much danger, that's it. Let's hear about some of the main ideas. <laughs> <laughs> some of the main ideas that they are talking about. The main idea, what I'm hearing is that you guys are claiming on USA, and then and then and then at China too, you just have to, you know, like uh, present like, talk like to our oh. friends, and then and then Germany well, let's hear, for for help. Let's hear like what are the main ideas that they are talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what I see is nothing. I didn't I, like they're just. Okay. Features, there's nothing okay, let's hear from someone else. Maybe, um, Yaya, you're also a reporter. Do you, what are the main so ideas you're hearing? The main idea, like, you try to stop, like, you make a less CO2. Like what? Less CO2. Less CO2? Mm -hmm. I am the show. Let's hear, let's hear from, um, Johanna. Can you tell us what, is, what do you see? Are you talking about text? Yeah, so 
because a lot of people are talking about their sources, where they got the information to help them give evidence. Um, good. I hear a lot of the main ideas I hear are talking about um, people talking about helping Nepal um, and people talking about carbon capture a lot. Um, so those are the two main ideas I'm hearing a lot about. We have about 10 more minutes and then we're going to write down our uh, report at the very end. So 10 more minutes for other for a little bit more conversation. Okay, let's go. So, uh, you said talking to Edvin, I want to mention to United States. So uh, United States, uh, according to uh, Green Living at uh, LoveToGo.com, it says that Germany used five times uh, like transportation as Americans, which means that like all of us we using cars, and that's a bad thing. I think we should like all use uh, not all of us, but you know we should have like we should not all drive. That's one and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, according to a uh, reading. And chemistry. If we reduce the, the transportation, people will be 13% off the world. So if all countries started, uh, you know, changing transportation such as car, buses, mm -hmm. uh, boats, and all the stuff, we would reduce 13% of the population, uh, carbon dioxide in the world. And United States, you're doing bad. Not bad, bad yeah. Because. Yeah, you know that you're producing a lot of CO2 and you have a lot of money so, and you're spending that money and useless things such as the uh, trying to always to fight like in the Navy and Army and also like help for homeless because you know you're helping the homeless a lot but you still see them in the street doing their, you know, their things. <laughs> uh, I, got, I got evidence, go to Tenderloin. Also, how shame is it, uh, how shame is it, uh, they're the country that's trying to tell other people like they're not produce much CO2, that they're producing themselves. How shame is that? <laughs> so um, I, I I like the ideas. I use more um, public uh, transportation. Um, yeah, that is a good solution. But can we hear from Saudi Arabia? Like, haven't heard you talking about your solution. <laughs> but look, we don't want to put this thing ninety percent of. It. Um, Ninety percent of the country export. I mean, when you produce all of these goods, um, I think you should like you know cut it. Like let it stay in your country. You know, don't give it to others. That if they do that, their economy is going to be destroyed. <coughs> because <laughs> because <laughs> a lot. because if those countries are just rich because of oil and fossil fuels, and if they stop doing that, I mean, their economy will be like yours, like Nepal. Before. They're going to start being poor. Saudi Arabia, they can, they still can produce oil, but um, from what I know from um, Wikipedia, they, um, the government had 75% profit from the 90% oil export. I mean, they can get some money 
on the government to like do, do something for the global warming, like doing carbon capture and all energy conservation. Also, uh, uh, according to to 2015 year one Saudi Arabia, it's Saudi Arabia is denying like the solar uh, panel for its country. They say that they deny it because they need more time to to think like what's the best energy for their country. But for me, I would say that's an excuse to like to not to not use solar power because I don't know because they still want to use oil. And I mean their country is pretty suited for solar energy power because it's always warm. But it is difficult for them because they need to use oil. I'm not trying to say just turn to solar, but they should use some solar too. Not just all. Also, um, solar energy uh, always relies on weather. Yeah, it's hot every. It's hot. It's, it's, yeah. It is hot. It's hot, but not every. Like it's but mostly bright. So. Not what is it then? It's a desert. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, in all places like urban places. <laughs> I'll take that as a no. Can we come up with a conclusion and a good application? Yeah, my conclusion is I'm not trying to say like completely stop using uh, <coughs> oil because I don't want their country to be like Nepal and Nepal and all that. I'll just like, you know, have a limit of solar power and have a limit of oil. like. We should, should not deny it. Yeah, yeah, we should not just depend on using the fossil yeah. fuel. Yeah, so a great it will, idea too. Yeah, yeah, one day it will finish out. Uh, at some point, it will be gone because we can't make it again. So let's raise a hand who agrees with your opinions. So what you said it was to to use renewable energy and fossil fuels too, like in such countries as yeah. Nepal or countries that are poor, right? Yeah. Uh, and the use of solar energy for residential areas. Exactly. I, I agree with you, but also um, I think that we should use. Um, So they can't get solar, I mean uh, fossil fuel, is that what you're trying to say? Like countries that have, like, so, uh, I don't know, like for example, the countries near to the North Pole, it's cold there, so they, the sun is not always bright there, so they should not use uh, solar. They should use another, another thing. Oh, yeah. Like Ray is saying that like you have to, you, I mean, you use the, the renewable energy, like, depend on like rely on the conditions of the location like of the countries like if you um, um near the equator then you should use um solar power yeah. because it, it's, it's always sun and it does not stop solar power exactly so that is what she's saying conclusion to my country what how we are trying to um uh, if you guys want to raise your hand if you agree with me is that all country, uh, we should donate the money to countries? That's a, a solution to change the global warming. Also, uh, making the solar panels. Yeah. And allowing countries uh, to still use fossil fuels like Nepal. That limit. Or, uh, limited, yeah. yeah. So, who agrees with me? Yeah, but that's why we are putting them in places where it's always right. Such as I said late uh, before, we should build 500 square uh, kilometers of solar panels that will be able to give energy to all the world. So that will be enough 
and because the sun. Yeah, like, I mean, people will not, people it, it will be little by little, and as I said, do you have all the money to do it? All of it? No, that's why I said all countries should contribute to that. So helping each other, yes. that's your main thing. The sun, according to Wikipedia, produces energy from one year in just one hour. So we just need one hour of the uh, sun to produce energy for a whole year in all the world. So that will be a great source of energy that will save us a lot of money in the future. Yeah. Okay, but in what place do you think we should do that? Two more minutes. As I said before, in Africa, because in Africa if there's a lot of space, we could also use the deserts we have because nobody's living in that desert. So we put solar panels in the deserts it will be a great idea to get energy. We don't just have to use Africa. Yeah, another benefit of using solar, you said it, like, you know, like fossil fuels, we have to go, we have to dig it out like, every time. Uh, like, we're gonna spend money to dig the coal or fossil fuel every time. For solar, once we build it once, it will last for a very long time. Yeah, it will last forever. Right, yeah. And we will save money for the future. According to Wikipedia. <laughs> I, have, I have a question. You say you say uh, save the money for the future. What do you think the money used for what? Because you, you say you uh, save money for the future. So what, what do you uh, use for using money? Oh, how are we going to use the money saved yeah. for the future? Yeah. Well, Population is growing. We're gonna need more food. We're gonna need more buildings. We're gonna so that money can go for those things. We can also help other countries because earthquakes and stuff will keep happening. That's not just one. So that money can go to those countries. We can donate. We can still develop our country. It's just like getting back the bigger and better. Um, in the Bay Area too. I mean, the last time the earthquake happened was a long time ago. God knows. In my <laughs> yeah. And this 10 year. <laughs> True. Okay, that's a good note to end on. So, thank you everyone. Can we give them some applause? And so, on the outside, ninth and 10th graders. And now, what you need to do, you need to look at your papers. Okay, just be quiet for a minute because I know you have a lot of. You want to talk, I know. Listen for one minute. Can you just stop moving your papers for a minute? Okay, so, 9th and 10th graders, we need to give a grade to the different students who are talking. So, don't just think about how many times they talk. Think about, did they give evidence? Did they paraphrase? Did they ask other people's ideas? Did they ask questions? Did they affirm or say yes to other people's ideas? And did they give evidence for why they disagree? So let's write down what grade would you give them? What grade would you give them? And everyone in the middle, you guys need to put a green paper on the back. Yeah, so um, I'll give one to you. The green paper on the back for you guys. And 11th grader on the outside. Did you finish any notes? Any notes? I was <laughs> very happy. That was more. Second? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, we actually had to open up yeah, I was trying to. God, I was talking about the rap. Here, Bonnie. 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 But it, it wasn't about shutting down. I know, but this was it was about uh, opening the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah.
Okay, actually, I emailed it to them. They said on that thing I can email it to them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah. What do you think about the debate? Um, yeah, you got, yeah, it was great. Yeah, yeah. Honest? 